Welcome to part 8 of the Hogs of War Let's Play. In this part we will be doing Just Deserts. I think this is the only level uh, in the campaign mode that has tanks in them. I think there might be uh, maybe like one multiplayer map or something that's got tanks in. I know tanks definitely appear if you do randomly generated maps and stuff like that in uh, in multiplayer. Now what my usual tactic uh, was before was to pick up one of the tanks on our side and drive across and fire at them. Uh, but instead uh, I've got a new strategy because one of the objectives is to destroy the enemy tanks but we also want to make sure that they're not just climbing in the tanks because uh, that just provides all this extra armor for them and they can fire back and it's a bit of a problem. Uh, so this new strategy is picking up the extra health and just sitting inside their own tanks and trying to destroy it while in there. What will happen is the enemy ta uh, the enemies might start shooting at their own tanks in a sense because you're in them. As such, uh, it makes blowing them up much easier because when a tank blows up, it also causes damage to uh, the tanks next to them, which means all the tanks get blown up very quickly. <laughs> but we also want to. Uh, make sure our pigs go don't get damaged too badly so if we're lucky I could always try and get Hagrid to climb out before then but otherwise it's perfectly fine to just let them blow up because I think the most he'll take is about 40 damage and that health pack gave uh, well definitely enough to compensate for that I can't remember how much the health pack was but not only that, the we're, we're damaging those pigs. The tank explodes and that deals damage to the pigs. If you're really lucky, it launches them super far and maybe off the map. And then because the tanks are too damaged too, the the enemies uh, are a bit more reluctant to get in. My preferred form of fighting is for fighting with no actual fighting. Only um, thing you got to be aware of, which I keep making the mistake uh, of doing, is. If you drive a tank over there, uh, don't don't get out unless if you drive it back over onto your side. Otherwise, an enemy is gonna just jump in, and it just makes the mission so much more annoying. Anyway, we're gonna use my the usual tactic of uh, pickpocketing um, and just trying to get rid of everyone's like most deadly weapons. So that was a, uh, well that was a, that was a double whammy. Can we, can we go for a turkey? <laughs> uh, no, not quite. <laughs> but at least the spies are, don't have much now except for oh, just their TNTs. Oh. Saw bums in the morning there. <laughs> So we, didn't, we only got one of them, but at least the, the others are, are fairly damaged. And because Hagrid's nearby, they're going to use close range weapons. Like the flamethrower can do a little bit of damage, but luckily it only took off 30. So I think I'm going to... I think I... I can't remember what I did here. I can't remember if I if I turned around uh, with Wallace in the tank to pick up the medal, or if I just sent Qui Gon over to pick it up. I mean, it's not the first time Qui Gon's been in a tank, actually. If you, if, uh, if any of you have ever played Jedi Power Battles on PS One, uh, that that game that people don't really talk about too much uh, when they talk about Episode One games. Everyone always talks about the actual 
Phantom Menace PS1 game. But uh, Power Battles is... Won't know what hit him. I, I don't know actually because I've not really played the actual Phantom Menace game but pa uh, Jedi Power Battles is very difficult because it's very uh, unfair and pretty jank. But there is actually a bit in that uh, uh, in that game where you go in a tank and you start shooting at uh, everyone, like you, you steal a droid tank. It's like, yeah, that was my favourite part of the film. But I I remember it so well when when Qui Gon and Obi Wan took a tank and went to town in feed. <laughs> but uh, but I mean. To be fair, though, if uh, you don't actually have to play as Qui Gon in that, so who knows? Maybe, maybe it was Mace Windu who uh, who took the tank instead. Maybe it was Plo Koon. He, he was in that game. I like Plo Koon. I think after Qui Gon, he's my second favorite uh, Jedi. And maybe if I play as the Japanese and do a playthrough. For whatever reason, like maybe I'll name a pig Plo Koon. <laughs> a very simple shot. Oh, he got my pig. Sure. I thought he was. I thought he was going to miss. I was like, uh, I, was, I was thinking, oh, you can't poison a tank, and then and he gets my insert insert shock to. Uh, Joey face for yeah Joey from Friends insert, insert that face. <laughs> but I realise um, the air burst is a bit too risky. Maybe I should use the. Uh, well, I was thinking flamethrower, but I realise no, I'm not like I'm not one of those people who's like. Oh, you did something to me, I have to do it to someone else. I'm not that, I'm not that guy from that Indian wedding who, who <laughs> slapped that woman just because another woman slapped him. <laughs> After some time, a airstrike uh, drops. And that is... Oh, that was a turn. Uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, my turn was was kind of eaten up because Shrek was stood on the tank, and if you ram into another pig, it it counts as a turn because you you, you do twenty damage to them, so it immediately ends your turn. I, fortunately, I couldn't really do anything there. Um, Yeah, the, the airstrike that drops down here is, is, I think, the intended way of taking out the tanks. That's how I would uh, normally uh, finish this mission. Would be to try and um, uh, try and weaken the tanks, but then use a uh, airstrike to blow them all up. I was trying to go for a trick shot there, and it didn't quite work, but still gave ourselves an extra turn. But right now the airstrike is not really of any use to us, so uh, the best thing we can do is uh, take out uh, we'll take out one of these pigs, grab the grab a tank and, and drive over and get our medal. Hopefully, trusty rifle burst will finish the job. Depends if oh, <laughs> finish the job in spectacular fashion. Oh, I forgot about him. Uh, oh dear. Um, <laughs> yeah, we might not need the airstrike, but they certainly uh, shouldn't have it either. Luckily. 
he's targeting the tank, so I guess that means um, we're pretty safe. Because unless if that tank blows up, it's not really doing much damage to us. Uh, 27 on uh, on Shrek. It's all right. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to give ourselves another turn here by poisoning uh, uh, this little piggy. And now we're getting berated for not picking up our uh, medals because, well, well, we haven't picked them up, have we? So. But uh, if if the major can be just a little bit more patient, we should be getting it next turn. Just got to deal just a bit of damage to him. Make sure we don't blow him up into the minefield. And okay, what? <laughs> I think Hagrid just needs to um, you know like take a break, go back to his crossbow because it. Uh, he's he's been missing a lot of bazooka shots. <laughs> I do have to be a little bit careful with this tank because the mines can still do damage to you, uh, but they don't damage their tank nearly as much. Apparently, as well, some of the reasons uh, why, like uh, what a reason why the mines don't always hurt a tank is because the tank actually pushes the mine under the map and it, I think it's like the ground then blocks the the actual like damage fortunately we uh, only did one damage to <laughs> To this guy, but I do wonder is this um because they have cattle prods, does that mean that in this like world of Hogs of War there are other animals, but they're also like treated, they're treated like real animals. You know, like you know, like some weird like programs, like like how in Arthur, uh, they're like anthropomorphic, like aardvarks and and chimps and and bears, and then there's Binky, who's a bulldog, but then but then Arthur's got a pet dog, and no one thinks anything of it. I guess it's a bit like the whole Pluto and Goofy thing. Well, we seem to be taking our time uh, <laughs> taking out this one guy. He's not even... I can't remember if I forgot he doesn't have his sniper rifle because I, I seem to really be playing it safe for a pig who has like no weapons left. <laughs> Unless if I'm just being a bit sadistic and just playing, basically just playing with my fu food. <laughs> I mean, he is raw fish. Uh, I mean, there's a pig called raw fish. There's a pig called sushi. It's all about. It's all about that stuff that I tried once, and I'm kind of a bit indifferent about. <laughs> sushi can be nice, but sometimes the uh, sometimes the rice inside feels way too wet, and it just kind of ruins the flavor for me. <laughs> Now can Hagrid hit a tree with his uh, with his bazooka, <laughs> or is it just gonna fly straight over again? Oh, I actually got it this time. Uh, a useful thing about the 
pigs when they turn into trees is you can hit any part like you can hit any part of their hide and it counts so even if you hit the bazooka at the very top of the tree but you hit it dead on at the top of the tree they still take the full damage okay Rollo, Wallace let's, uh, let's wrap this up please <laughs> Yeah, again with the old mine TNT combo. There we go. Is it? Oh, and in the minefield. <laughs> Not a bad shot. <laughs> so, yeah, that was just deserts. Uh, a mission that definitely feels a lot more frustrating um, if you. If you just get one thing that goes wrong, especially when uh, when they use a TNT on your pig and then and they, your pig slides into the minefield and instantly blows up, <laughs> now that's the worst. Yeah, finally we can upgrade another pig, but which pig we'll upgrade, we'll find out next time. <laughs>